three, two, one. Yeah, what's happening, guys? It's Paul Wolfie here. We are back now. The first thing you want to do on this video, as always, is hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. And of course, last but not least, my Twitch channel, <coughs> excuse me, is down in the description below. www.twitch.tv forward slash Connor Wolf. All of my RTG and all of my good stuff is streamed on my Twitch channel. So if you want to go and see some live content, come and join me in my Twitch community over there. I will love you guys forever. We're very close to 20,000 followers on there actually. So every little help, go and drop that follow button over there. It is free to do so. And of course, my Twitter is also down in the description below. www.twitter.com forward slash Connor Wolf. If you want to keep updated about what videos we'll be dropping a day in advance and stuff like that. Wait, advance. I never say that. I normally say advanced. Look at me getting all posh. But yeah, you just keep up to date. And it's a little bit about my private life as well. So you get to know me a little bit more if you go and follow my Twitter. www.twitter.com forward slash Connor Wolf 1995. Link down in the description below. But without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight into this video. Of course, today we have got the brand new custom tactics for the 442 and the 4231 that I'm using at the moment. On the new patch, I grinded the game a hell of a lot yesterday. And there are a few changes with this new patch that have come out, obviously they've nerfed the Elastico and stuff like this. So because of this, there are actually some new custom tactics that I will be using from now on. These are the custom tactics that I'm going to be using for the foreseeable future, okay? I don't really see myself veering too much away from these at all, if I'm being honest with you. These are what I think now is set in stone for me. And unless the game drastically changes with a few more patches, these will be the custom tactics that I use for the rest of the game. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight into it. Obviously, there you have on your screen my RTG team. Do not listen. Do not look at this card, okay? Absolutely awful. This card is the main man. Neymar, of course, is the main man in this team. It's a very weird team, I know. For a road to glory, it's very good. But at the same time, it is a bit weird. I've got untradeable left-back FC in my club, by the way. Tellez, untradeable. Alexandro, untradeable. Alfonso Davies, untradeable. Ferla Mendy, untradeable. Honestly, he's just untradeable left back FC in this club. Wolfie's lad's been cursed, I tell you. So, I'm going to show you the 442 first. These are my 442 custom tactics. I use the 442, I think, the most out of every formation. I love the 4231, but at the same time, I feel like this year, more than ever, you just need two strikers to really emphasize how like poor your opponent is defensively. I just find the 4-2-3-1 a bit bland and I'm a bit bored of it, if I'm honest with you. Yes, it is one of the most effective formations on the game. There is no dispute in that. The 4-4-2 for me this year it just seems to fit. It seems to work. So, with the, defen the defensive style is always on balance. I have tried press after possession loss. If you are going to play a press after possession loss, you do want to go to a 6 depth. But I don't like it this year. It is effective, but if they beat your press then you're, you're absolutely messed up because they're in on your goal, basically. So, I much prefer the balance. And then, of course, we've got the five width, four depth. That is very standard, and I feel like it just suits me the most. I have tried five depth. I really, last year, like last year, I used to play on 10 depth. This year, because of how OP, well, not OP, but because of how pace is actually a viable and usable option, you just can't use a high line this year, in my opinion. So, five width, four depth. It's like the happy medium, I always say. The happy medium. Balanced offensive style. I literally do not like any other of these at all. The only one that I would maybe recommend is putting on long ball. Long ball is actually a very good tactic. But once again, I just like the balance. I like to... What I always say is I like to have the most control with my team. You know, like I, I want to... If I want my my player to go on a run, I want to manually tell him to go on a run. If I want it to come short, I want to manually tell him to come short. These are all little things that I look at in the game. I have now gone to six width, six width, sorry, and six players in the box. It goes down to that old saying that I always say. If you guys have seen my custom tactics video, you will know exactly what I'm on about. Where the more players you've got in the box, the more likely you are to score. It really is that simple for me. I put it in that black and white terms for you guys. More players in the box, the more likely you are to score, isn't it? I don't like 7 though. I've tried 7 and 8 actually. And I don't like them. 6 for me just seems to sit perfectly, you know. Not too YOLO, but not too defensive either. And then the corners and free kicks, I always go 2 each. I just find them, in my opinion, 
If you have it on three, which is what they come into when you start the game, uh -uh, uh -uh, no way, Jose. You will get counted on like you wouldn't believe. So go to two. That is how I set my team up in the 4 4 2. Martins on the right, Renato Sanchez and Bobby Firmino in the centre, Rashford on the left, Neymar on the part up front. I, th I think this RTG team will be changing come tomorrow. When you see the RTG squad build on Friday, along with the live game of Foot Champs, I think this team is going to change a lot, in my opinion. It's going to change a lot, a lot, a lot. But the player instructions are get in behind and come back on defence on your two strikers. Again, this is actually an attacking move rather than a, rather than a defensive move. Because your two strikers, are just they're closer to your, your midfielders, which is kind of good for keeping the ball and for starting the counter-attacks. I have tried them so many times on stay forward and balanced, and for me, they just don't work on them custom tactics. The 4-4-2, the gap between your midfielders and your two strikers is just too big when you do that. My right mid is on comeback on defence, getting behind and getting to the box for cross. Getting to the box for cross is the key point here. You want to get your guys in the box as much as you can to score the goals. My right centre mid is on stay back while attacking and cover centre. They're the only things that I changed there. And then my left centre mid is on balanced attack, okay, and then cover centre. I always have one of my centre mids or CDMs on balanced attack just so they get forward a little bit and kind of help with the attacking play. Obviously, Roberto Firmino is quality at that for me. Come back on defence and get in behind and get into the box for cross on my left mid. Same as my right mid. And then, of course, for my left back, stay back while attacking and overlap. For my right back, stay back while attacking and overlap. So that's why that's my 4-4-2 custom tactics. That's the formation I use 90% of the time. But if I'm playing someone that is actually quite good, I, I know that might sound weird, right? But if I'm playing someone that's actually quite good, and I'm thinking to myself, I need that cam because I need to get control of the midfield a little bit more. You know, sometimes in a 4-4-2, you can feel a little bit... Um, your midfield can feel a bit isolated and you can feel there's a massive gap. That is then when I change into the 4-2-3-1. So once again, on the defensive style, balanced with 5 width and 4 depth. But, but, big change. When I play a 4-2-3-1, because it is a little more defensive than the 4-4-2, I like to go 5 depth. Just because I'm thinking, well, if I'm playing the 4-2-3-1, I've got the two CDMs. My back line, can I, I can afford for my back line to be a little bit higher than I would with the 4-4-2, right? That's always my thinking and that's what works. The offensive style balanced, as always, again, don't do any of the long ball possession fast build up. They just don't work unless you're trying to YOLO it back into the game. Width, I have it on 5. Different from the 4-4-2, where I have the 4-4-2 on 6. I have it on 5 on the 4-2-3-1 because it just works for me. And again, the players in the box, like with the 4-4-2, that I do have it on 6. Although, I'm not really sure how much of a difference the players in the box makes on a 4-2-3-1. I have played on like 4, 6, 7, 8. And if I'm being honest, I don't really see much of a difference on either of them. So, there's that. The corners and the free kicks, as always, you lower that down to 2. It will be on 3 naturally, so lower that down just one time each. It'll just stop with the counter-attacks like so, you know what I'm saying? So, Neymar's my striker. Rashford, Depay, Martins are all my cams. Depay in the centre just because he's the slowest out of the three. Excuse me, Renato Sanchez is obviously my right CDM. Bobby Firmino is my left CDM. Tellez is my left back and obviously Smed is my right back. So, player instructions. Get in behind and stay forward on your striker. I always have my striker on stay forward when I'm using a 4-2-3 when it just suits better. For all three of my cams, they're completely default apart from the support crosses. You want to put them on getting to the box for cross. This is very important for the R1 square crosses and just trying to score some goals. Attacking in the 4-2-3-1 is the hardest thing to do, okay? So getting all three of your cams on getting to the box for cross will just give you a better opportunity to score more goals. So definitely, definitely try that out, guys. Renato Sanchez, of course, my right CDM, cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover center. And then, just like the 4-4-2, my left CDM is on balanced attack, okay? So, cut passing lanes, cover centre, but he is on balanced attack, not stay back while attacking. This is, once again, just so he's got more opportunity to get into the box and just try and help with the, my attacking play, do you know what I'm saying? Just try, believe you me, trust me, it'll help you with your attacking play a lot, especially in a 4-2-3-1. In a 4-2-3-1, if you're struggling with the attacking, like the attacking plays, etc., I would recommend putting one of your CDMs on get forward. So the one that's on balance, just up it up to get forward and just see what you can do, you know what I mean? And then both my fullbacks are on stay back while attacking and overlap like so. So there we have it, guys. My 4-4-2 and 4-2-3-1 are custom tactics like so. These are the custom tactics that I think I'm going to be using for the very foreseeable future. I don't see a lot changing, if I'm being honest with you guys. I, just, I feel like this is a happy medium for them. I feel like they're not too attacking. They're not too defensive. 
it's just a happy medium that I've found. And especially on this new patch, with the 4-2-3-1, I do feel like the 4-2-3-1 may be coming back with this new patch. Because I used 4-2-3-1 last night in Rivals, and it was good, man. It was good. But that is going to be the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. But that is 4pm UK time every single day anyway. And last but not least, of course, my Twitch and my Twitter are down in the description below. www.twitch.tv forward slash Connor Wolf and www.twitter.com forward slash Connor Wolf 1995. Make sure you both go and drop you, mean both. Make sure you all go and drop both of them a follow and I'll love you guys forever. And that is going to be the end of the video, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for the rewards. Remember, it'll be a little bit earlier. And tomorrow is my birthday as well. So big ups for that. But see you guys later. Peace out.